Oh, thank you. Yeah, but also so cute. What we should do now is help him complete this picture book. Okay. However, we'll lead the story to a different ending. One so a good ending. Water imprints is eventually able to restore his kingdom with the help of his friends. And we are gonna be his friends. Hell yeah. We'll need to chase away his loneliness and sorrow and let him perceive a world full of hope again. That's what I mean by guiding his fantasy. I hope not a lot of... Well, since it's a rare condition, so yeah. But if we just need to finish the picture book, why does Remine need to make a Thelxie as well? Because we need to treat the book's story seriously, as if it's a history of things that have really happened. Is this actually a way to, to cure or help or like Thelxie, And help him or regain his like, crown no. and country. Right. But <clears throat> my child can no longer go on a journey of his own. This is why I commissioned Fremine here to craft a Thelxi, and then I'll paint the journey with this Thelxi into the picture book. Ah, like a stand-in for your son! Paimon's starting to get it now! Oh, you really put a lot of thought into this, Zuria. Um, Paimon still has one question, though. Where will we be able to find a Water Imp Kingdom? There are some ruins on the seabed of the Salacia Plains. Alicia. I've already asked Fremine to research them for me. I think we'll I have to use one of the ruins <laughs> as the kingdom. Salacia? Okay. A. A. Salacia. No, Salacia. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, so uh, we'll just need uh, to act uh, out uh, a performance uh, of, uh, 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 Oh, a brave journey through the kingdom of water imps. As long as we chase away the monsters in the ruins, it'll count as chasing away the monsters in the water imp kingdom, right? Sadly, no. We won't just be putting on a performance. It's just as Zuria said. We need to take this seriously. And the only way we can take this seriously is if we choose to believe everything that's happening is real. Oh. Uh, so we'll be playing it straight? Or, uh, making it a fully immersive experience? Oh, neither of those really sound right. Uh... We'll still be able to help, right? Uh, I'll try my best. It's all right. There's no need to get that serious. It's not a big deal. I believe in my son. We can just see this as him wanting to stay asleep for a bit longer because he's so enamored with his dream. Oh, I wish you could just like choose to stay at the same dream you were dreaming about, man. Like sometimes you can. You know, you know how you sometimes can still somewhat continue the story if you try to fall asleep back right away like you know if you still feel like that that tiredness you just wake up and you're like no i don't want to wake up yet like i want to continue the dream and you, you you close your eyes and you try to fall asleep again and i then then i usually go back actually to the story or the dream i was on but just for a sheer like it felt it felt it felt so much shorter though but I still get to live the dream, you know, in that dream a little bit longer, and then you wake up, you know, then you actually, you know, don't go back to the dream because you, you, you know, it's like, it's, it's cut off now. But between that little first time you wake up and you try to go sleep back, sleep again, it's still there, you know. Sometimes you can get it again, like, the third time, you know, wake up again, you know, oh, dang it, no, I want to continue. And then you sleep again and then you continue, but every time it's going to feel like it's shorter, shorter, somewhat, if I remember right. Zuria. Keep your spirits up, everyone. If we were to look troubled, my son is sure to become anxious as well. Hmm. I should be heading back right about now to check on my son. There's so freaking much snow here. We temporarily moved to a place on the hill over oh there. Oh my god. So my son will have a better spot to convalesce. Jesus. It's not far from the water, and there's also a great view. Feel free to come find me if anything urgent comes up. Understood. There's also one last thing. Since these two friends were able to help me out, I've made some more progress on Thelxi. I estimate that he should be ready sometime tomorrow. That's great news. I must thank you all. Hmm. With that in mind, how about we meet here in two days' time to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps? 
Sounds good to me. All right, everyone. Let's meet again in another two days. Why two days? Serious, I can just serious, be one. Why two days? Every brain. time two days. Fermine, do you think our plan will work out? Well, we just gonna have to hope it works. Uh, let's discuss that over by the tent. There were a few things that I didn't bring up because the madame was here. Oh. Uh oh. What could that be? Something very, very, very important. What? What is it, Fermine? What did you want to say? <clears throat> um. If you don't mind me asking, I would like the two of you to mentally prepare yourselves. What? Mentally prepare ourselves? For what? <clears throat> this is the first time that you've met anyone with the syndrome, right? I know you two are both really strong and will do everything you can to help the child. But with the syndrome being the way it is, if things don't... <sighs> If things don't quite turn out as we wish, I hope you'll be able to accept the outcome and not put too much blame on yourselves. Fremine, Damn. why do you bring this up all of a sudden? Didn't we just promise Zuria that we'll be optimistic about everything working out? It's not that I'm not optimistic. It's just... Do you have it as well for me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, could it be? Or. Ah, so that's why you looked like you knew exactly what she was talking about. Wait, Fermine, don't tell Paimon that you also. He has it! No, no. Please don't misunderstand. I've never had it. Ah, okay. I've just. You! I've just seen many cases of it at the House of the Hearth, back when we lived under the previous director. Oh. They say there are many factors surrounding the development of this illness. I've heard everything from hereditary factors in one state of mind, to environmental factors and even leyline disorder effects. Some even say it could be caused by contamination from God remains. God remains? And we heard from that the before. Cases I've seen, there weren't many positive outcomes. In the worst cases, the patient could even pass away. Oh, damn. Well, at least you know we would have tried to help, or not, you know. But... What? It could get that serious? And your Pyron thought they'd just stop talking as much. <sighs> yeah, that's just the nature of it. So, if you'll find it difficult to cope with the worst case scenario, I would prefer that you back out right now. I don't want you to help only to feel like you failed. We never fail, we will succeed on this one, trust me. Uh, you got a good point. I'll give it some thought. Don't worry. I've seen all kinds of strange and difficult things in life. Yeah, that's right. Paimon's seen all of those things too. No matter how hard it might get, we won't be scared. You always really? get Paimon. Stop it. <laughs> then in that case, let's see this real life fantasy adventure together to the end. Yeah! Uh, but Paimon has a question. If this illness can really be as bad as you've described, then... Do you really think Zuria's method will be able to help? After all, we'll just be using a toy as Delxi and some ruins as the Kingdom of Water Imps. The whole adventure will only be turned into a picture book for her son to read. Well, I think it should be able to do something. To harbor a fantasy means that the child wants to save himself somehow. The only reason he's allowed his dream kingdom to fall is because he's lost control of his heart. But if we can help him regain control and escape from the darkness, 
we'll be able to change his world. Like helping someone who's lost their voice be able to speak again. Oh, Paimon sees what you're saying now. Huh. How do you understand all of this so well, Fremine? I wonder if the Hida from somehow could help with this. Hmm. Well, maybe because I have also had many of my own dreams in the past. I even had my own fairy tale world, much like that boy's. I was able to draw a lot of support from it. So I believe in the power of fantasy worlds. So, the penguin town you mentioned was... Ah, so you remembered. Oh, it was yours. What penguin town? Why does it Paimon remember? Is that also a fairy tale world? Don't leave Paimon in the dark! Suddenly, Fermine pulls out a diving helmet that puts it on his head. Hey, why did you put that on? <clears throat> it's just one of my personal quirks. Please pay it no mind. <laughs> anyway, Penguin Town is a peaceful place with lots of penguin residents. They're all really good at making clockwork toys. And Pear is the town's triumphant hero, as well as the one who quietly protects the whole place. Pear? But didn't you make Pear yourself? Well, I often think that Pear only came to me because he realized how much I needed him. So it's not so much that I made Pear, as Pear chose me as his friend. Hmm. Are you sure you're not losing control of your fantasies as well? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I can still differentiate between fantasy and reality. I just believe that the fairy tale world of my dreams must also exist somewhere. It might just be hidden, which is why it's difficult to see. Or it will only reveal itself at very specific times. Specific times? Like when you put on your diving helmet? I feel like he was trying to escape the conversation or we just like, you know, he feel embarrassed about it somehow, so he put it on. Yeah, that's the general idea of it. It's an escape from the real world. <laughs> Because you put on your helmet. Have you ever observed the surface world from underwater? It's as if you're viewing a whole different world from the outside. It's a very surreal feeling, both alienating but also as if you're being protected by something. Hmm. I have a similar feeling when I put on my diving helmet. In those moments, it's possible to see some truly wondrous things, as if a fairy tale has become reality. It's almost like a sort of miracle. Really? Like a miracle? Now I want to try on your helmet too. Well, if that's in order. It's not in order, man! Uh... Well, you know what? Yep, that's in order. Hey! No, I want to put on the helmet, Paimon. Quiet down. Right. I still have to collect some tools I'll need to craft the weapon. I've got to finish everything before tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me, Paimon. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you to try my helmet. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, fine. That's true. That's true. Thanks for all of your help. I'll be off for now. Let's meet up here again in two days. Alright, see you in two days, buddy. See you in two days. Okay, first quest done. <laughs> Let's see the events now. This is how you three work. Let's see. We probably have three events. Oh!
You know what? You know what? Just because I know that Genshin likes to tell sad stories all the time, you know what? It's gonna probably end with the kid somehow passes away. I'm just saying. I'm just saying right now. I'm telling you to make it like, oh my god, it's so sad. Oh, oh, oh no, the kid didn't make it. <laughs> I'm 100% sure. Trust me. Trust me, that's how it's gonna be. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Complete physical Oh. All of them are unlocked, right? Oh, whoop. Wait. I want to do the story first, anyways, and then do them. And then do stuff. So here is the. Okay. Oh, we get another crown. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh. Is this was this the first quest we did? No, no, this is not the first quest. This is the event stuff. All these are unlocked, right? Yeah, we can do all of these, so they are all unlocked now. Okay, cool. And this one we did. Okay, so this is the quest. Yeah, there's two more. All right. All right. So we're moving on to the next day, and the time has already passed. Because I think I forgot to pause the game. So, you know, the new day just came by. I went and picked up something, you know, a package or whatnot. So, um, well, two days have passed and here we are. Thank you for your concern, Fremine. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. I, you know, I feel like I still am on that. I feel like he's still going to somehow, uh, you know, pass away or something. J j just because I feel like that's how Genshin does it. Uh, they wanted to make it really, really sad, you know, to, so it somehow make it rememberable because you felt feelings and up and downs and blah, 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 you know, how storytelling goes and whatnot. So that's just how I feel like it would go. Okay, so. Hello, we've been lurking in this bush right here, or one of these bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. Yes, sir. You look a little bit like uh, Dune is odd, does she not? Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. I mean, it's the same kind of same, like. Models like the character models, so the the, the 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 clothing style is almost the same as well as she had it. So, and also another thing, why am I gonna have to be so unlucky every time, man? I'm sorry. Why am I so unlucky? I swear to God. Okay, well, not unlucky like at like that, but you know, um, I was I, I was talking to this. Um, other girl as well try to get to know her and whatnot you know and then she asked me if you know I was seeing somebody and I thought like oh shit uh, oh I'm sorry I'm, I'm like oh 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 crap like maybe this is like uh, you know somehow she just wanted to see if I uh, you know have somebody for her to you know I don't know I bro I I'm delusional, man. I'm delusional. Okay, I'm delusional. So I was like, oh, 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 wow. I was like, oh, well, no, I actually am not. And then obviously I have to ask back. And she, and, and you know, uh, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. She was like, yeah, you know, I'm actually seeing someone. I've been with this guy for twelve, two months now or something. I was like, brother. I was like, god damn it, man. I was like, why, why am I so freaking unlucky? I know I'm already talking to the other girl, but the thing is, you never really know if it's gonna go anywhere, right? If it, if I feel like it's going somewhere with um the other one that I'm going to call later today, then obviously I'm not gonna be as active to try to get the the other one, right? 
so but there there is not another one now since she's out of the picture and now I only have this other girl left the gym girl that I, I met before that I talked told you guys about so sorry I have to uh, just say that in the middle of this I I just got I just got done talking to her and she was like you know she she found you know recently or yeah kind of recently found someone We've been together kind of like two months now and I'm here like ah and she's like you know it feels very lonely otherwise you know in winter time you know it's very dark and it would feel nice to have somebody and I'm here like yes I I know I know but it's not like you know I I, <laughs> I wasn't born as a freaking god dude okay I I wasn't born as a giga shad my guy you know <laughs> So, it is what it is, boys. You win some, you lose some. Oh, look, he has a little weapon now and shield. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Selexi. Selexi. Delexi. 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 Lexi. Lexi. Delexi. Sixi. Sixi. Lexi. Ah. Selexi. Yeah. So. That looks so cute! Oh my gosh! Indeed. Why are you With so cute? With his weapons in hand, Thalxi looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We help too! Yes, you really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Oh yeah? Great. Speaking of which... We are experts Zuria after all. just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? Mm-hmm. You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Well, <clears throat> Fermine, consider it done, my boy. Seems I guess. Like everything's it. ready to go. Shall I we guess. Head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking, since Thalxi has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Ooh, Maybe. Paimon's excited now. So, um, what should we draw on the page? Hmm. Why don't we use the story we know as a reference? Just make the atmosphere a bit less grim. So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? Sounds great to Paimon! Alright, I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, please tell me what you'd like to see. Let me think. We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the Sword of Courage and the Shield of Perseverance, which proves he has crossed the mire of doubt, and now is ready to wage war against the darkness. Yeah. Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything yeah. else? Yeah. Paimon wants to give him some friends. Thalxi's got some friends by his side now, so he's no longer fighting alone! Yeah, he has more penguins! Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Oh wait, that's Anything us! Else? Wait, actually us! I thought it was gonna be penguin there. Uh, don't forget to add some color. Color! Ah, oh, color! Yes! That's really important! Man, she's a good artist. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale, but bursting with color and hope. Yes! Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! Splendid ideas, everyone! Damn, you're a artist! Do you know that? God damn, look at us! Great! Everyone looks super She just drew that on the fly? Sheesh! Oh my god! She's just that good! She just... On the fly, like that, like, oh, add this, add that, color it! Okay, boom, boom, done! Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? Seems like it. <laughs> I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paima 
I can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished. We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Let's go! Yay! Salxy's Fantastic Adventures begin now! Part 2. Prince Tunson. After some time you read the shore above the underwater kingdom of water imps, 